Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aries. Aries, this is your weekly general reading. This is for the 27th of July through the 2nd of August, 2020. Now Aries, keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. All right, Aries, let's see what energies and messages we have coming through here for you this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're ready. Ooh, look at this. Victory. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Yes, and it, it's uh, 28 reduced down uh, equals 10, you guys. Uh, so that's amazing. All right. Uh, this could be completion of a cycle. Uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's the beginning of something. Okay, where you are definitely going to uh, receive uh, recognition, reward for effort, and victory here. I love it. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Aries. Sun, Moon, and Rising, Spirit. 27th of July through the 2nd of August. What does Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know? Right. Thank you, Spirit. Aries. All right, we're ready. Situation. We've got strength. In your foundation, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Aha! I feel like this victory has to do with your money, okay? Because this is what's driving you this week. Some of you may uh, be receiving a pay raise, a promotion, moving up within a company. What's benefiting you this week is justice. All right. Nice. Crowning you. Oh, my goodness. The sun. <laughs> Wow. I mean, this is just amazing. All right, your outcome energy, we have the Nine of Swords, and of course, I'm going to pull another. All right, that makes sense. Yes, we have a new beginning here, you guys. It's going to require you to, you know, step outside of your comfort zone, to take that leap of faith, okay, and believing and trusting in yourself as well as the universe. I feel like you're, you're in your head, okay, a little bit too much, all right? And just know that you've got this, okay? <clears throat> this is amazing, all right? That, you know, and the sun represents, you know, success that's coming from your creativity, okay? You're in the spotlight. It's your time to shine right here. I just love it. All right, so we do have the master number 11 coming up here, okay? And we also have the number sequence here, 8, 9, and 10. And then we have the full here, you know, the beginning. So, very interesting. I always tell you guys to look these numbers up, okay? Because if you take the time to do so, you're going to find something there that you needed to, you needed to know, okay? All right, so let's start here. Victory, all right? And this victory can be in any area of your life, Aries. Um, but, you know, you're going to be feeling pretty good on top of the world. Don't stop here because I'm telling you there's, there's more victory to come, okay? For some of you, this is a uh, court case, an inheritance, uh, anything that has to do with the legal system. Justice is on your side. It's in your favor. You have victory, okay? You're getting what you want. You're getting what's owed to you. Uh, compromises and agreements are being made. You know, I really feel like um, you're getting recognition as well. Uh, some of you are being admired uh, for your work, okay, your skill, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, all right? And I feel like it's going to land you an amazing opportunity, okay? But it's also, at the same time, going to require you, okay, to pull upon your inner strength and be courageous and, you know, step outside of your comfort zone and go for it. Remember... It's, 
It's in front of you. It's been offered to you for a reason. It was meant to, okay? All right, go for it, Aries. All right, we've got now another thing I want to... Uh, I want you to look at here, okay? We have six uh, energies here, okay? Four, four of them are major arcana, and that is very significant, very powerful, okay? Um, so most definitely, you guys, you, you got this. And, you know, something that's coming through as well, if you needed a yes or no answer period okay if that's what you've been searching for uh watching these uh, uh tarot readings you need a flat out yes or no answer well this is your lucky day okay because the answer is yes okay somebody needed to hear that aries please let me know if that message was for you okay that's coming through from my guides awesome all right we've got strength the energy of leo as the situation this is amazing okay um you know you guys are strong beyond measure okay you are courageous you have so much inner strength okay and inner wisdom that you hold within and you know i, I feel like you're ready you're ready to go after this new experience okay i i feel like you got butterflies in your stomach you're nervous get out of your head remember you got this okay this talks about you going after your heart's de true desire you're going after your dream you're going after what makes you happy okay and you need to keep in mind the only person in this world that's going to keep you okay from doing something is yourself and you need to remember that and you know this nine of swords okay this is being up in your head this is you worrying you know over something where i feel like it may be um worry over nothing is what i'm getting okay now it doesn't mean that that's going to make you feel any better but there's a need for you to ground yourself okay you got this and believe in yourself you're going to do just fine you've got the spirit of perseverance running within you and through you all right, you got the Queen of Pentacles, all right, in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week, Aries. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, whether you're female or male, okay? All right, so with this, in the position of what's fueling you, what's driving you, all right, we're definitely talking about independence, uh, stability, and security, laying a solid, unshakable foundation when we're talking about your money, okay? You know, this is you building up your finances right here. Uh, and what I love about the Queen of Pentacles, it's grounded, it's down to earth, it's practical. Okay, what she's going after is realistic. It's within reach. It's doable. It's achievable. Okay, and we are definitely talking about, you know, a new beginning that you are going to be very successful at bringing in okay financial gain and i feel like quite a bit of it and for others of you like i said if you're waiting on what's owed to you you're getting a quite a bit all right it's a nice amount some of you may be waiting on a business loan or maybe a bank loan okay this could be you know maybe someone is financially backing you or you could be financially backing someone else okay justice the energy of libra okay in the position of what's benefiting you this week love it lady justice is here she's in your favor she's on your side there's agreements there's compromises being made and it's all in your favor you're going to get what's owed to you, okay? It's coming very, very soon, all right? Um, some of you have been waiting a long time. For some of you, we're talking about a contract here. Uh, make sure that you read the fine print and you know exactly what you're signing up for, okay? Um, I also feel, you know, I feel like this is, you know, positive karma that's ushering in here. Uh, for you Aries 
you know, I feel like some of you have, you know, really been dealing with some hard times, some financial hardships uh, in, the, in the past, okay? Maybe even recently. And, you know, I just, I, I feel like karma's on your side, okay? If you believe in karma, just know that you don't have any karmic debt. That's what's coming through here. Remember that. You do not have any karmic debt, okay? You're going to start this new beginning, this new journey, taking this leap of faith right here, all right? You're not carrying any baggage or, or any stress or, or anything like that with you, okay? Somebody needed to know that. You know, justice talks about clarity, discovery of truths, you know, and there's a lot of clarity going on here because we've got the sun as well. Uh, some of you may be discovering the truth within a situation about another person, okay? Um... It's all good. It's all good. I, I love it. Uh, I do feel like, you know, and this Nine of Swords isn't going to be for a lot of you. This is just for two or three of you. You've got to get out of your head. You're overthinking something, and it's causing stress and sleepless nights, you guys. I just cannot express that enough, okay? Now, we've got the sun, okay, the energy of Leo again. Aries, you may have Leo in your chart. <laughs> I know we're in Leo season right now. You may be dealing with a Leo, okay? Uh, this is what you know. This is what you're thinking about, okay? This is, again, clarity, seeing the big picture, um, you know, having foresight about where you're headed, where you're going, okay? Nothing is clouded, all right? Um, this talks about success, okay? And we have energies here. You've already, we've got victory here, okay? Recognition, reward for effort. And now we have you know, promised success here that's going to come from your creativity, okay, with this new beginning. You know, those of you that have been in the shadows, get ready. You're going to be coming out and being in the spotlight, and that could be what's causing this Nine of Swords energy, all right? Maybe maybe you're one of those people you don't want to be in the spotlight, or, you know, this uh, new role or experience you're stepping into is something that's going to require you maybe to... Uh, Be around more people, okay? That's what I'm getting. You're going to be fine, okay? Um, it, it's time for you to, you know, claim your birthright. And I, when I, what I say by birthright, Aries, it's our birthright to have more than enough, to be satisfied in life, to be happy, to be abundant with our cup runneth over and have material things, to have money. That's our birthright, okay? And, you know, there is an opportunity here. And you know it, okay? You're going to rock it. You're going to be just fine. And I understand, you know, this isn't for all of you. But for who this uh, particular message is for, you got this, okay? And you deserve it. Now we have the fool. You know, it's got to be crazy if you don't have any type of, uh, you know, uh, nervous energy uh, rushing through you when you're fixing to embark on an amazing journey, something that's different, okay, and, and new to you. So this is perfectly normal. It really is. Just don't get stuck in this and don't allow it to affect your health. Worrying and anxiety and sleepless nights causes health issues, okay? Now, this is you taking that leap of faith. This is you believing in yourself, trusting in the universe, and starting an amazing new journey that is going to bring you so much success, okay? Victory, you guys. Beautiful. Aries, you are going to have to leave me a comment, my friends. I read them all, okay? Now, I, I, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart, you guys, and... Like I said, let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Aries.